What's up, my dudes? Val here. Today, I finally beat the abyss. If you guys didn't see, if you guys are curious which how I did what floors, whatever, I put the entire live stream as its own thing. You can go watch. I did floor all the way. It wasn't 1 to 50. It was like 4 to 50. But it's basically all the way to 50. Any 50 and up, I'm not doing. I don't need the abyss tokens. I have all the abyss units. So, I'm just straight up not doing it. There's no reason for me to, and I'm not going to. It's pain. I don't like abyss. Abyss isn't fun. But I got these secret rare fallen angels, so we're going to be showing them off. Uh, they're actually really, really damn good. I'm going to spoil that for you right now. Uh, they are one of the best units in the game, without a shadow of a doubt in my mind. Max units one. They have a limit placement of one. You guys will get to see. They lead the sacrifice category. Uh, pretty damn good. Uh, sacrifice, embodiment of fear, devil power, pure heart, savior of the earth, godly energy, honor, integrity, flower, hero, etc. I max limit broke them. I got them good modifiles. They have no passive, but they don't need a passive, especially for what they do. Uh, they're very, very broken. We're going to show that here today. And I think I'm going to go for the highest single instance of damage in um, tower or anime world tower defense history. We'll see. Uh, maybe Somber can probably... Theoretically, Somber's damage is infinite. His damage potential is infinite. So theoretically, Somber can do more. But I want to try to get much, much higher. So yeah, we're going to make sure to do that today. So, let's go ahead, let's fly up the training field and see what we can do. Alright, we're locked in now. We're going to go ahead, first check out his animations. Uh, her animations, I don't know. Their animations. Uh, make sure I have effects on, I do, so we can watch it. Alright, let's see the animations first. That's a pretty cool one. Yeah, that's a pretty... Let's see that one more time. Oh, it's like a dash through. Well, that's pretty cool. Anyways, let's go ahead, check out the next animation. Um. Oh, so it's like a. Is that like an axe? Let me see. Oh, it's like a scythe made of light. Oh, that's pretty cool. All right, and then the last one. This one. This one's pretty cool. This is the one you see the most. It's just big boom. Like look. You know. Yeah. See, just big boom. That's all it is. Pretty dope. And I think that's the end for their upgrades. Yeah. You guys saw the little bar on the left. I'll go over that in a second. But first, let's go ahead. Let's set them up like, I don't know. Um, first, we're going to set up Somber here. We're going to set up Lord Somber right here. All on his little lonesome. Then we're going to set up Oshi here. And now with Oshi set up, we're going to go ahead and hit auto ability. Max out Oshi. And then we're going to set up an All Might. And then um, with All Might set up now, we will be able to go ahead and get the hero bonus going. Once that hero buff cycles, we'll be good to go there. And then we have Doma here for our stall. We're actually not using Doma for damage for once. Oh, yeah, I forget he's a freeze character too sometimes. So we're going to go ahead and put Doma around the map. We're just going to have him here just to stall. It'll make sense here in a bit. Because we're trying to do one giant instance of damage. And I think it's going to be pretty cool. So we're going to do this, we're going to set you to last, we're going to set you to last, and then set you to last. Alright, and then last but not least, we have Shang Tsu. Shang Tsu, we're going to do this, we're going to put all three Shanks down right here, in the dead center of everything, so they can hit a good majority of stuff, set them all together so they can cycle. And then we're going to set up our Shank cycle by putting ourselves on one two three times all the way up to five times speed everybody every time i do this everyone asks me five times speed how do you get it uh you don't five times speed is just in training mode and that's it it's only in this game mode right here all right set it to auto and then set it to auto all right so we're finally ready to go and ready to check this out so now i can show you guys what this menu is and exactly what it does so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna put angel here we're gonna fully max out angel and now you guys can see the menu, and we'll read it together. 10 year, 10% 10 HP. Uh, they just buffed their cells attack by 350%. 3.3 mil base with All Might. Without All Might, it's only around like 2 mil. But you press this, 5.15 mil. Very easy to rack this up. It's a very massive damage boost. If you're running something like Peem, you basically never have to worry about actually hitting Recover. If you're running Peem or Shielder or any healer, because this is percentage HP base, and as they add to your total HP... You're going to constantly have this 10%, but if you don't have them, then you're going to eventually run out. Like, you're going to eventually use it all. So next one is recovery. Recover 50% of your max HP. 
and in the thousand year 99% HP. Deals damage to all enemies equals to this unit's total HP and reset match HP, 3 billion HP or higher, max 10 billion damage. 10 billion damage per enemy, that is. So now we're going to set the enemy speed to 5, and we're going to farm up our Sombra. This could take a second, so we're going to go ahead, put them all in at 10 mil. 1, 2, 3, and we're just going to start summoning. And we're going to let Lord Sombra do the rest. I have a macro already set up to go ahead and just basically do this i think i genuinely think like no joke we might crash the game uh we might just full-on crash the game i'm gonna have to turn effects off for this uh a hundred percent because like i said i'm 99 percent sure we're just going to full-on crash the game so just let somber do his damage you guys can see he's already at a billion damage we just need to let him keep cooking here uh i don't th i think i don't think they can move at all. Oh, I need to put this at a uh, at five times speed. Let's go ahead, five times speed. Let me kind of want to remove the dolmen to see if they can free, if they can move. If I have it on zero speed, do they move at all? Oh, they don't. Okay, that's no fun. That's kind of cheating, right? Uh, we'll put it on one speed. Yeah, I don't want to do like I don't want to do. I I want to do a cool hit, but I want to make sure you know they can actually at least move. Okay, cool. So now we need to get Sombra up to... Um, Sombra needs to get up to 10 billion damage real quick. That's not going to be too hard, especially with this. Uh, you just stack in a whole bunch. This is why I put in an auto-clicker. An auto-clicker that can click way faster than I can. So we're going to go ahead and get this up. And then we're going to see exactly how much damage we can do in a singular hit with Angel. Angel is going to do so much damage, it's not even going to be funny. And I'm pretty excited to actually see the results of that. So, we're almost there. Almost to the magical 10 billion number. We just need 10 bill. And then we'll be good to go. Once we get 10 bill, we can do I am Recovery Atomic. And we ideally want to be a little bit above that too. Now we can do I am Recovery Atomic. And then we can set up for the funnies. So, now that that's done. We let him clear out the wave. We're going to set the color to purple. And then we're going to set to, um, I think I'm going to do like, let's see, one, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. That's a huge number to look at. So let's go ahead, let's pop Recovery Atomic, and let's let him go crazy. And I don't know how long this is going to take, by the way. I really don't. Uh, this could take a while. You can see their health bars. Their their health just is not moving. Uh, they are going to... This is going to be a minute. <laughs> this is going to be a minute. I brought in as much stun as I possibly could to go ahead and try to allow as much stuff on screen as possible. And this is probably a massive mistake. Um, I can imagine this actually crashing the game. I can imagine... Yeah, I, I can fully see this full-on crashing the game. But I just want to see how much damage, in theory, can be in a singular hit. And, dear God, look at the amount of units coming through. Let me zoom in. Let me zoom in. Let me stop clicking for a second. Just zoom in. Let me grab uh, Angel. Oh, God, I'm going to crash the servers, aren't I? I'll probably, I'm probably going to crash the game. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Okay. All right. I got to remember where the buttons are. I can't forget where the buttons are. All right, the button's right there for the thousand year. That's that's the one I need to know, bro. They they genuinely can't move. Oh god, the game's breaking. Oh god. Oh no, <laughs> bro. I'm. Oh look at what's going on. They're freaking out. Okay, they stopped spawning in, I think. Are they still spawning in? I have no idea. No, they're still spawning in, okay. Oh, there's so many enemies. I might just have to shotgun it. There's just way too many. 
Let's see. This one should be 10 year. That one should be recovery. That one. This one should be a thousand year right here. Right? All right. Let's see. Oh, they have 100 billion HP. Oh. Let me see the damage. 17 trillion damage in one hit? Holy, look at that. 17 trillion damage in a single hit. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. <laughs> but you can see it fully reset the HP now. If you wanted the HP, you can only use this once per run, by the way. Uh, if you wanted the HP, yeah, look, 99, 9999. If you want the HP to reset, to go back, you would just have to recover your atomic again. So ideally, you want to use this before you use uh, this full range atomic. This would be a nuke before. But yeah, this is an absolute must, the leaderboard unit, 100% needed. Uh, they are just literally another nuke that you run alongside Lord Sombra. And you just get more and more points on leaderboard, and you're going to have some crazy leaderboard runs using them. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, as always. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Were they worth the grind? In my opinion, yes. They're just a super cool unit. I love unique units like this, and the fact that even, like, beyond this, right, they can get their attacks that pretty high. I think it's pretty cool. But other than that, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.